Hi, and welcome. My name's Fresh. Thanks for watching. Now, today, I'm doing something different. You seen the title? Let's get it. Today, I'm talking about none other than <laughs> your boy in the interwebs. <laughs> that guy. Not lax. You know, I try to find as many pictures as I could on him. He does these dread reviews awesome. So I think it's time to do some dread reviews on him. Let's get into it, my boy. Now, many of y'all don't know, but it's about this stage. It's when Nylox was popping on YouTube. I caught up on him after he chopped this stage. Uh, they were interlocked. And I believe he got mold and mildew issues. So he chopped them off. And that's when I started growing my dreads. Now I ain't got all the fancy equipment and editing and all that. I'm doing this on my phone as you can see in the corner. Power director. But I could see in the old pictures of Not Locks when he had the inner locks. It was all concentrated on him. He looked kind of frustrated. And I think that's what started him actually on his journey for Freeform and what we know now so here is uh one of maybe a couple last pictures of the interlocking stage but i really want you to see this now i don't know if there's a lot of different dread tubers around this time uh not locks came around but i call him maybe one of the first dread tubers out here because he really gave you the knowledge of like what's really going on with your hair like it's not a magic trick it's not a show it's like he's breaking it down with the science and the karmic values to let you know what's going on i've seen so much confidence and exuberance and not locks you know right here in this moment after you chopped you know his his interlocks he had those for quite some time i believe he said like seven years or so I'm not gonna break down the science and the knowledge. This is just like an um, homage, like to the dreads of that guy. And I really wanted to showcase like what's going on here. So he didn't manipulate his hair at all, except for a couple he crocheted, I think in the front, but it was a little later in this, uh, in this uh, season of the budding stages, what he was doing. But this is all free form. Like, he really embraced it. And you've seen his soul shining through. So crazy. I mean, that's what really made me go like, huh, dreads. It's like the happiness just started coming to him. Uh, I think he was doing wedding fo photography or editing at the time. And this stage right here is really just helped to let him shine out his personality and really be happy. You know, about being himself and letting the real not like shine through. I think this is the part where he actually made the pivotal moment to just make YouTube his full flagship and his full time gig. Uh, I think it was around this time. And he actually started letting his audience know more in depth things into his life. You know, uh, like his veganism and how he felt on religion and politics. Um, well, not necessarily politics, but dredgicates. <laughs> Started more on the dredgication tip right around this time to show what's really what's going on. So as you can see, a couple months later, these things drop. Now here's the exact timeline on his dreads. Uh, like I said, this is an homage to his dreadlocks and his dread freeform journey. Um, and I just want you to see the progression from the inner locks to the freeform and actually seeing what he's talking about and what energies was drawn to him. So, as you can see, uh, I believe this clip is from him planting, uh, him starting to plant, and he was with Mob Media and he's starting to develop the not locked thing and just taking over the global takeover of the not locked brand and really doing his thing right here in this section excuse my bird in the back but it dropped a little bit more he still kept the free form and i think on that left side he crocheted that one side just a little bit that one dread but that was it and it's all free form from them 
Now, when I was younger, I always thought, man, Bob Marley must have had a crochet needle and made those things so thick, or he manipulated his hair to get it like that. That's just not natural hair. Like, it cannot be that easy to get dreadlocks. And the thing that Not Like showed me, showed us, showed the whole interweb, is that you can grow natural dreadlocks and have them banging like this this was like the most awesome time to see how dreadlocks were formed because i always seen the twist i've always seen the palm roll i've always seen already done the towel rub but i've never let my hair just freely go as you can see not life has no scarring no no twisting he even has some hands growing for the back of his head this is so freaking awesome. That is why I'm saying dreads is the way to go. It's your own natural way. I mean, go ahead. Take a look at the drop in the back. See on the sides in the back, they're like hands just reaching out from his head. That is so crazy. There's no way in the world you can manipulate your hair to do that. It does its own song. Like, you can see, they're, they start off as, I guess, kind of bunched up hair twisted on their own and then they come together like a hand closed and then they reach out and then the hand branches out it is so cool seeing this process and actually having the con confidence to be rocking the, the so-called ugly stage but like my like said there is no ugly stage just embrace your hair in every stage and look how beautiful it shined out that was from a fro. Uh, the top of those fro is now the bottom of those dreads. That is so awesome. See, now this is why I like watching, not locks. Because as you can see, every stage is embraced. And it probably started off like a scientific experiment. Like, like can I do this? Like, can it be done? Or what will people say? And he broke past that barrier. And he made himself the center of himself's attention so basically he got dredgicated and then he brought on his dredgication to the masses and then that f helped me to educate myself and hold on to you know growing dreads for so long you know unfortunately I dyed mine and it fell out and you know he talked about that but I didn't listen but now I'm going to start a re renew journey. And this is for Notlocks for helping me with that decision. And that's what it's all about. And see his inspiration right here in photo with him. The great, the no need for introduction, Bob Marley. <laughs> Bob Marley with his faith, his life, and this, his essence was dread. That's why my favorite song is Dread Natty Dread. Ah, oh, you really feel his his soul into that. You know, you really feel his his love and his life was all about that. And that's what life should be about. It should be about something. You should really strive to be you, but be about something and that education that nobody can take away from you. And that's what I'm saying. It's it's all about giving back and giving pain it forward. And I I, I think not locks for showing the world that. This man not locks is more than a brand. He is more than just dreadlocks. He's getting everybody educated on how to let yourself shine out here in this world. And how to not be afraid and just let the real freak flag fly like Jimi hendrix would say i that's why i stayed subscribed for so many years i had to change my channel over but now i'm in a good space and i'm actually seeing a visual representation of what life can manis manifest if you are yourself and even though the strives and struggles that we all go through because not like showed us that too when he was in his own space and uh, living in the basement, <laughs> you know, from his breakup, then his breakup, you showed us that as well. 
the, the dread dogs he showed that that too and now he's on a whole new chapter he's still rollerbladed throughout the whole thing he's still live casted throughout the whole thing he still remained not locks and i think he even grew more as he went back and forth to jamaica uh he wouldn't even manipulate his hair and he was really just really just dedicated and i haven't seen that kind of dedication especially in 2019 2018 or 2017 a lot of people just give up once their hair's locked it's like an inch or two and then they'll just be like oh time to chop it off and start new you know no see it's not about a hairstyle it's it's more of just letting you shine out in your essence and you're chopping that off all that knowledge that you gain from growing your hair all that wisdom that you gain from growing, growing your hair i really suggest you should go to nylax's channel and really see this and see what i'm talking about it might help you be a bit a better person you know what i'm saying again thank you for everybody who watched everybody who listened I'm sorry I couldn't find as many photos as I would like to, but fortunately, this is all I had, but I did get about 11 minutes of content for you about a very pivotal brother, Mr. Not Locks and Not Nation. Now, my own dread journey will start after November 17th, after my marriage, and um, yeah, I'll have a lot of that coming on the channel, and that's what's going on hopefully this video goes up even with the sampled beat that i have running <laughs> but uh to not locks and not nation thank you for watching for anybody else thank you for watching if you want to like and subscribe do so if not i'm not going to tell you what to do live your own life one love peace